in this video I'm going to introduce you to while loop so what is a while loop while loop is an open-ended loop so that means the user has the control to determine when the the uh, iteration should be finishing so how many times you're supposed to repeat the loop is is on the hand of the user okay so let's just give an example how it works so I'm just going to create a variable okay and I'm going to um, variable X and assign zero to it just to show you an example how it works so the, to, the way to write the while loop is just simply write the word while and for now as an example I'm just going to do while X is less than uh, 5 for example okay so what I want is basically is when X is less than 5 I want it to do something I want it to repeat keep on repeating until X is not is less than 5 okay so I'm just gonna just print something say hello world so this means while X is less than 5 keep on doing well, printing hello world on the user screen okay so I'm just going to run this for now okay so if I run it you can see that is continuously just writing hello world on the user screen why because X is assigned 0 to it and X is always going to be less than 5 and therefore just going to keep on doing that continuously okay so I'm going to stop it now so what I want to do is now I want X to uh, uh, increment I want X to move on you know instead of just doing being 0 I want X to increment by 1 2 3 and so on so to do that you can just simply write a code to actually increment by one so you can write uh, x is uh, plus equals one so what does this mean well this actually means is x is equal to x plus one okay so whatever x is it adds one to it and put it back inside the variable x so you don't have to write all that down you can just simply write it's exactly the same thing it means x plus equals one means x is equal to x plus one okay so it, this means every time it hits this line x will be incremented by one and you will actually put it back inside the variable x again so it will just keep on repeating until okay x is equal to five so let's just run it now so you can see the hello world is been printed okay five times okay so what just happened well because the x it started over zero you get it start counting x is zero and then one it started with one two three four and then when it hits five okay it realizes x is no longer less than five so it stops printing okay so what i want to do now i want to try with slightly different variable okay so we tried it with the integer variable let's try it with the string variable so i'm just going to assign uh, a word to uh, x and I'm going to call it uh, assign mizan to the word mizan to it and I'm gonna just going to create another variable called y and I'm just going to put a blank string in there which means there's nothing in there and I'm going to change this uh, y is I'm going to write y if y <coughs> while y is not equal to so this exponential maximum is not while y is not equal to x I want it to do something so what do I want it to do I'm gonna get rid of this line we don't need this line okay what I want you to do is basically I want to ask the user to input something and then I'm gonna check it okay so I'm gonna do and then store store this into y first so y equals input and I'm just going to ask the user to just just enter okay so enter something whatever it is so enter now if I uh, run this program okay uh, what will will happen is basically this uh, y and the x will be compared and to check why if y is equal to x or not okay if not then it will just keep on repeating until uh, y is equal to x so let's try it out so if I now type in okay say hello nothing happens okay so if I type in uh, another word for example okay uh, maybe salam okay uh, it's still not matching so therefore the computer knows that it's not matching we know it's not matching okay so <clears throat> and until it actually matches it will keep on just giving you this message enter 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 it's not going to change okay so I'm going to stop it now okay so I'm gonna do slightly something 
a uh, little bit more extra, so it's slightly different. So we want to check when it does meet the condition, we want it to do something. When it's y is equal to x, we want it to do something. To do that, you you know make sure you don't write on the same line as the y. You don't not indent it. You go back to where the while started. Okay, so push you back a little bit, and then it will mean that you, you want to do this line to be executed after this while condition is actually <coughs> met. So uh, print, I just wanted to print, okay, hello, uh, Mizan, okay, so now if I run this program now, okay, so if I type some words in, okay, again, if I type in hello, or if I type in uh, any other words, okay, so for example, Hassan, or it doesn't really matter, okay, pass, or uh, it, well, it doesn't matter how many words you write, whatever you write, the, for example, if you type these words, any words other than Mizan, then it will, it will not recognize being, being true. So if I say, for example, if I type in the word Mizan, you can see that in press enter, so there you go, hello Mizan. What that means that it actually met the y, it's, you know, hello Mizan is printed this line is because it actually met the condition of y is equal to x. So therefore, it actually printed this line. So if condition have met, it will stop. It will stop the stop looping. Okay. Uh, so that's how while loop works.